down here below, you're gonna see this right here. That's actually a power button and also it's for your fingerprint. So it's a button and for fingerprint. I'm gonna go on and zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see that. So on the top right hand corner, so on the top, once again, this is for fingerprint and your power button. So if I wanna turn this off and force shut it down, maybe I don't wanna set it up right now, I can just hold on to it and that's gonna force shut it down. Obviously you don't wanna do this every time to shut it down, you should do it from your menu. It's just to force shut it down because you may not want to just do the setup right at this second. Other than that, there's not much more to show you around the Mac itself. It is thinner than the MacBook Pro. It is lighter than MacBook Pro. And a lot of people are going for these for that matter. And uh, you can edit videos on these. Obviously, it's not going to be as fast, but they're still pretty good and they're really portable. So if you're watching this because you're thinking about getting MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, yes, this would be lighter and more convenient. However, you will miss out on the power. And uh, if you guys saw my unboxing for MacBook Pro, you do end up with less connections right here with a MacBook Air that you might or might not need, depends on your own needs. But yes, this is very, very thin. And that's the cool thing about these MacBook Airs. And it's always been the same thing. But as far as this video, we are all done. That's it. That's all we can show you. If you guys want to see this thing in action, make sure to watch the setup video and the manual. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.